Hello, hello tribe. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a reading with no topic. If you are feeling drawn to one of the piles, click. If not, um, don't watch this reading. I don't know why I'm being drawn to tell you that. Maybe someone is watching <laughs> one too many tarot readings lately. And um, in case you haven't seen, I have a new channel that's based on relationships. I brought back old Aqua Arcana name that I used to have initially. And yesterday I posted a new video, so if you'd like to check out the description, you're going to get the links there. And let's go. Pile number one is on the left, pile number three is on the right. They all look the same. Use your intuition, not your eyes, and I'll see you in timestamps. Hello, pile number one people. Let's see what we have for you. We have the healer and we have partnership. Okay, let's draw more cards and we're going to be talking about what I see here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the deck that we're gonna be using for you is the Steampunk Tarot. And I want three cards to start with. What is the message for group number one? What is the message for group number one? We have seven of cups. We have queen of cups. That goes very well with the healer card for me. And we have the king of pentacles. Okay, bottom of the deck, we have the four of wands. So I'm gonna be switching between scenarios, know which one is yours, um, because I'm already getting specific messages here. Let me adjust you slightly. There we go. So, there is a message for panel number one saying that um, either you met this person or you will be meeting this person. Um, if you are the healer yourself, this is talking about you. Um, I'm seeing someone who is seeking for some sort of relief um, or a healing session or overall a deeper knowing about themselves and they find a really good partnership along the way and it seems like someone is already thinking about it how can i heal this part of myself or how can i get better at this thing say if you procrastinate or say if there is some sort of maybe emotional pain that's still lingering in your system or energetically you feel like you want cleansing whatever that would be it feels like you are coming across a person or you are that person who heals the other okay so in case you are the healer yourself it feels like someone is going to be really grateful for the work that you are doing so i'm going to continue reading um in the way where i'm talking about the healer and the client okay so the person who is about to be someone's client here, um, it seems like they have a lot of options to choose from, but they're choosing intuitively with the Queen of Cups here. Um, and their intuition is kind of leading them towards people, articles, um, maybe even websites that's going to be helpful. So pay attention to what you're being drawn to read online or whose energy you're being drawn to, um, even if you don't know this person. Because I feel like there could be a really great partnership. Maybe two healers meet. Um, now, healer can be, you know, many things. Can be a therapist, a counselor, spiritual teacher, energetic healer, um, anything like that. Even um, shamanism, witchcraft. There is aspects of healing and all of those things. And um, the energy between these two people. So one is very intuitive and very tapped into their feminine power. The other is very grounded and is very good with material things. And I think that's why these two people work. Even if it's a client and professional type of connection that we see, I feel like these people without really knowing really help each other energetically. Even if um, you are the client, not only that your healer helps you, but you help the healer by your presence and your energy. You might even have a conversation like that, okay? This is a sweet vibe. Um, some of you might be doing some sort of cleansing in your home or improving relationships or marriages here through this healing. If you've been lately nudged 
to do um, any kind of healing. Doesn't matter how big, how small. It can be um, as small as you know, sitting down in the morning and just tapping into yourself and just sitting, looking outside or being outside and meditating. There is a hint here saying that something is being escalated energetically and um, there is energetic progress I'm seeing. Expansion. I'm seeing a judgment card in my head. Expansion and growth. Spiritual growth. Be open to it, pile number one. Okay, so what can we expect? What else can we expect here? Maybe someone's working with fire because I'm seeing smoke. What can we expect? Yeah, again, partnership twice here. And this is beautiful. Um, you might even find a colleague or you might be thinking about some sort of business partner even or collaboration. If you're not thinking about this, this is a hint of what you may expect in the future. Mm -hmm. Someone might be helped with um, any kind of addictions here I'm seeing too. Or if we're talking about healing partnerships, relationships, um, through healing that you're doing yourself, you somehow also heal the other who's the closest to you. Or maybe you finding a way how to deal with your addictions better. I'm also through this healing, seeing that um, someone is going to make a decision what they want to do about one partnership in their life. Um, I'm hearing personal relationship. Making up their mind what I want to do. Somehow that healing is opening your eyes to many more things that maybe you haven't paid attention to or you haven't seen. Mm -hmm. We've got the Ace of Wands. You're pretty happy here, um, as I said, happy Ten of Cups. You're pretty happy here um, about the idea that you come across. And I feel like the, whatever this partnership is about, it's very, it feels like home to you. It feels like the home. This could be also a situation where someone has done healing on themselves. And um, now there will be the time when you meet um, equally healed partner, okay? Or it doesn't have to be necessarily romantic. It could be a new friendship that feels like home. There's a sense of home here. There is a sense of home and belonging. And I feel like once you come across this person, you'll know exactly who this is because there is that magnetic pull towards them. You might not know why at first. We're like, I gotta do something with this person. I gotta go places with this person. I really feel like I'm enjoying their presence. And the more you explore this connection, I feel like the more happiness you experience. This is a very sweet vibe. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles. I'm actually seeing three people here. So I'm seeing a healer, a client, and after that healing, a client meets someone new in their life. Make sense? There are a couple of different scenarios here. Somehow that healing also is able to open, open someone's heart in order for them to experience more joy and love. And once you're ready, it feels like that's when that connection comes in. That's when it comes in. We have the King of Pentacles and we have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. This is a very divinely guided partnership over here that we are seeing. But there is something happening before that. Um, there was some sort of emotional turmoil that we are being faced with from the past. And we release that, we understand that, and boom, um, new connection comes in. I want to read the healer. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see that. It's so bad. I was so focused on the cards. I was like not even looking at the camera. Let's uh, read about the healer card. Maybe there's going to be a sentence or two that you need to hear about. So when this card is in light aspect, it says self-contained, grateful, awake. When dark, tired, needy, forgetting its own practice. The healer, the light worker, the gifted, the old soul. 
Through, though some claim the work of the healer as their gift and name it as their dharma, the force of this archetype is within everyone. It is our natural inclination to remember, to return to, and to reclaim that central and eternal life force from which we so easily drift away. In Sanskrit, the word avidya, avidya, hopefully, means forgetting, and it is said that this is the source of all suffering and disease. The healer's mission then becomes to move through the comfort of forgetting, through the veils of ignorance and denial, to reveal the radiance that already exists. The healer approaches this in multiple ways, from multiple angles, knowing the cycle of healing is not linear. It is a multi-layered and circular process, always leading back to its own origin, much like the Arboros. So hopefully this made sense. I, I really like this um, this reading. It's very lighthearted. It's like after maybe a heavy period of time or maybe a bit of stagnancy I'm hearing for some, it feels like we are opening up for what life has to offer, what gifts life has to offer for people. You know, it's like you are being gifted a very loving connection into your life as a thank you from your higher soul, your higher self, um, or your ancestors for the work that you've done. So that's a very, very sweet read. I like that for you guys. Whoever has chosen pile number one, if you need extra content, I have Patreon going. I'll see you on the other side for the rest of you. Have a beautiful week. Bye for now. Hello tribe, let's see what is the message for you here today. So we have Gnosis card and we also have ending in loss. Okay, let's check what deck are we using. I feel like texture tarot. What does pile number two need to hear about? I don't know why I'm hearing an end to your losses. There's an end, because I'm looking at this bird here. There's like a rainbow color scheme. And um, someone is coming out of some sort of cycle that made them feel I, that they constantly lose or they constantly, um, this could be financial loss. This could be relationship losses. And someone is coming out of it with that bird here. Okay, let's see. And also we have the circle right here. Goes well, very well together. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Let's put these cards right here. A lot of Earth energy. We have Page of Pentacles. And we have Ace of Cups, bottom of the deck. We have the Tower, which makes sense for me with your first cards. All right, let me tap in. Let me adjust you slightly. Okay, the message here saying, at one point in your life, there was a very impactful with a Tower card lost. Now, it could be into a relationship, could be into a job, um, and to maybe even yourself, like death of an ego, or becoming a new version of you, or living a very different life. And sometimes we can be grieving things that we don't really understand until we tap into our subconscious or we start analyzing the situation. Why am I feeling this way? And um, when the tower hit, it seems like, and again, in the tower card, I'm looking at the bird in the corner, an eagle. Maybe that is um, a sign for some of you, or you have a connection to this bird. Um, it seems like you're being freed from it now. Um, that's what you can expect, you're being freed from it. With the Page of Pentacles, someone is learning about some sort of difficult time in their life, and as if they're rejuvenating themselves with the Ace of Cups, this is a completely fresh start to my heart. The Queen of Pentacles gives me a feeling in this deck um, of someone who was very focused or who will be very focused on their finances. 
um, right now, even advice would be focusing on the things that make you feel grounded or focusing on your careers, on your projects, on your studies and hobbies. Okay, that would be quite beneficial for you. I'm also hearing ground that idea, um, ground that wish, because it seems like it's going to be coming true. Let's speak into the Gnosis card from the book. I want to see what it's got to say. Okay, so when this card is light, it says contemplating the mystery, unanswerable questions. <clears throat> when dark, over intellectualizing and literalizing, asking others. Gnosis, innermost knowing mystic truths. Uh, maybe some of you are going to be um, interested or you're already doing that um, mediumship. And you might be just drawn to that. You might be drawn to learning more about um, life after death. It's a very mysterious reading. It's, it's all about a need to understand both worlds here. True knowledge is not found in facts and figures, in scholarly books, on library shelves. Rather, Gnosis points to deep and timeless archetypal wisdom that rises from the felt experience of having touched the unknown with every one of the senses. Yeah, this reminds me of mediumship very highly, where you have to open all of your senses up in order to receive messages and understand them. Those who are drawn to Gnosis find themselves in esoteric studies. Um, so there is a reference to studies already here with that Page of Pentacles too. Maybe you are taking some sort of course um, that is highly connected to spirituality or something that is super mysterious. Those who are drawn to Gnosis find themselves in esoteric studies, likely involving mysticism, alchemy, healing, or perhaps science. Knowing is their calling, not knowing is their job description. No matter how far the alchemists take their studies, they come to the ultimate conclusion that facts slip toward mystery as soon and soon the mystery results in facts. This card signifies a knowing that is life-changing. Once you experience it, you are forever changed. That's exactly what I felt before, right? Maybe there is death to the old version of you and a birth of a new one with the Ace of Cups. Once you experience it, you are forever changed and become a guardian of Gnosis. The eternal mystery is calling you. Study your passion in the deepest way available to you. So a lot of people in panel number two are going to find yourself. Um, I don't know why I want to say this. Maybe some of you have lost spark or passion about something that you loved. Uh, you needed to take a break. Um, and you're going to be... Uh, highly motivated and interested in something that you had a connection with. For others of you, you are discovering that in the future. So your cards are asking you to have your mind open because there is something waiting for you that is going to take you on a very interesting path. And as if I'm seeing you being, you burying yourself into books, into getting more knowledge, into research, into practice. Practice, 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 I'm hearing here, especially when we talk about spiritual work. Because then that's when you're going to be grounding your studies. That's when you're going to make it real. That's when you're going to see the feedback. That's when you're going to believe it a little bit more, okay? You're going to be presented facts and how it works and how you can be better. This card relates to the riddle and the shapeshifter all concern themselves with revealing mystic truths. Those who say they know, don't. Those who say they don't know, know. Exactly. So, um, you know, a good teacher knows that they, um, they're never at the top of their game. There's a lot to learn still. <laughs> um, and um, it feels like maybe you're meeting someone like that. Maybe you're meeting your, your teacher um, or someone who's somehow a counselor or someone who inspires you to learn something new. Let's pull more cards. Let's see what else. What do you need to know, panel number two? Yeah, magician, very applicable. <laughs> Again, the king of swords, knowledge, intelligence, and page of cups, curiosity about something new. 
bottom of the deck we have the knight of cups you're highly fascinated with something that is quite maybe dark mystical gothic deep and uh, it seems like it's bringing you quite a lot of answers with that king of swords and the magician are you practicing some sort of maybe witchcraft or maybe you into shamanism or mediumship it's um, it's very ancient and it's very beautiful and you want to learn from those who have been doing this work for a while i'm not seeing someone sign up for a course um, with someone who's been doing it for the last couple of years i'm seeing someone sign up for some sort of course where the knowledge is um, being presented from the generations past makes sense so in this pile, you're highly being um, asked to look around yourself and see what you want to learn about. Or if something is unsure for you when it comes to soul, spirit, afterlife, or maybe spiritual practice of some sort, it's saying dive deeper. There is a reason why you're being drawn there. There is some sort of mystery to be unlocked um, and you're going to enjoy yourself very much here. And I also feel like your intuition is being heightened with every time that you practice. And I'm looking at those grapes in the corner here in the Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this is also going to bring you quite a lot of resources in the long run. So if you're doing this already, and this is not new to you, you may expect um, quite a lot of manifestations coming true, especially um, hearing when it comes to financial abundance, okay? But there is still there is still something um, for you to uncover, even as an experienced practitioner, something to uncover and something that you want to dive into that you're going to find very fascinating that adds maybe to your toolbox. So hopefully this made sense. If you need extra content, I'll see you on Patreon or join me on my new channel if you haven't seen it just yet. And I'm going to speak to you the next time. Bye for now. Hello, hello tribe. Whoever has chosen pile number three, let's see what we got for you. We have older man and we have the underworld. Ooh, this is gonna be an interesting one to say the least. Let's get more cards. And I want to use, huh. Let me see which deck is calling for my attention. I feel like Super Lunaris deck. Let's go. What does pile number three need to hear about? What does pile number three need to hear about? We have the nine of wands. This is going to be one of the most interesting ones. I think I <laughs> do. Two of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Let's clarify the older man. Chariot. And let's clarify the underworld. Six of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Okay, let me sit with this for a minute. I'm seeing a person who is either represented as a family member or overall an older soul or an older person age-wise who is observing you. But now what's interesting is that there might be two groups of people for one of you this is a living person. For others of you, this is a soul watching you, being present in your surroundings. If that is a soul, spirit, sorry. If that is a spirit, then it seems like this is someone who has passed away with some sort of, I don't know why I'm seeing... Um, physical damage so it could be an accident or it could be maybe an illness that highly impacted the body does that make sense so you will know which um which storyline is yours 
And uh, especially if you are planning to travel somewhere, you plan or you traveled somewhere recently, that spirit was with you. Um, as if they like to hang around with you in places that um, remind them of freedom or places that they wanted to go but maybe didn't have a chance to. Now, for other group of you, this is um, one of your soul family members, so people that we decide to incarnate with or uh, we decide to sign a contract that we're going to meet them in this lifetime. And um, it seems like this person, you, you may expect maybe working with this person or they may propose something to you um, in regards to work. Some sort of collaboration, um, partnership, offer, maybe even a job offer, I want to say. It started raining, you probably can hear that. It's kind of relaxing. And you're going to be thinking about what you want to do about this. Um, whoever this person is, if they're living, they're very hard worker. They've earned quite a lot through their, I'm hearing, uh, blood, sweat, and tears. Um, this is someone who is very strong-willed and strong-minded. This person is not scared easily by um, difficulties in life and um, they can handle traumatic events very well. It feels like this person has lived through the time uh, when they've seen maybe even wars or they have um, been involved in military and they had to toughen up. Let's see, this is an interesting one. Okay, what do you need to hear about? Pile number three. Yeah, it's like they want to gift you an opportunity um, or they want to offer you to work together with them. This could even be someone's boss watching, uh, watching someone work and seeing their progress. Because I'm seeing a contract that is being signed and I'm seeing someone working, um, learning in a new workplace, getting to know other people, getting to know how the, how the job goes and um, they're very committed and someone is watching them, watching how much they are trying to do their best job. Um, and it feels like Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. It feels like you can expect a reward. You can expect a reward, maybe a bonus or really um, nice words of appreciation from someone that you work with um, or someone that you will be working with. This could be also a situation where someone is um, boasting through your LinkedIn profile um, and you might not know about them just yet. So we see there are a couple of scenarios here. We started with one. I'm kind of trying to switch, so we need to discern which one is yours. We also have the Hermit, and we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. And we have the Magician. You manifest in um, financial abundance here. But somehow this person is there to present that to you or help you out with this. This is an offering, okay? I'm here to offer you something. Will you take it? Will you take it? And I feel like whoever this person is, this is um, very strong uh, masculine energy. Very strong masculine energy. How will this impact you? You're going to have to leave something old in order to accept this. Or you're going to be offered this around the time when you're leaving something old. Yeah. You're going to have to be a little bit more patient with your progress. But it feels like once you decide, once you make your decision, you make up your mind... If you want to take it or leave it, you intuitively, intu ah, can't speak. intuitively are going to be led, okay? And with that feminine energy here, feminine power, you'll know what you need to do. If there is any doubt, um, your cards are saying, remember, you have immense strength and power to find clarity in situations where clarity needs to be found, okay? So it feels like um, there is a hint of abundance here, a hint of abundance. You might be even you know, working on Improving your household, maybe you're renovating, maybe you're buying a new home, maybe you're renting a new place, something like that. Or maybe the finances that you get from this offering, the money that you get, you're going to invest it somewhere that makes you feel safe or makes you feel like home. So it could be building a new home. 
could be improving the new home or it could be even for your wedding, right? That partnership makes you feel like home, so you invest that money for your future wedding. So there is a lot in this pile. There is a lot in this pile. Um, at this time, your cards are saying, remember, you're super intuitive. So if you're feeling a bit sensitive lately, um, your intuition is being heightened. Listen, listen and write down some things because I feel like um, you may forget later on and there is something that you channeled that is going to be important in the future. Okay. Now, one more thing I want to say with the seven of swords and two of swords here and the hang, hang one. Um, and the justice. <laughs> um, if you intuitively were kind of told or your body was feeling a bit weird around one person, it's saying there is a reason for it, okay? There is a reason you want to protect your energy from that person. Um, you want to close off your heart, be an observer, everything is going to be shown to you in the near future, okay? That's all you have to do. Intuitively already know, okay? <laughs> So that, I mean, straightforward pile, what can I say? Straightforward pile here, but a lot of different messages. I hope you were able to discern which one is yours. If you need extra content, I'll see you on Patreon. For the rest of you, have a beautiful week. Bye for now.